significant question. First, briefly on uh, safe, uh, the safety of women, safety security of women in Delhi. Uh, the structure, unfortunately, of administration of Delhi is such that three subjects, land, law and order and police, these three subjects are not under the administration of the elected government of Delhi. So therefore, police and law and order, which are primarily responsible for ensuring safety and security of women, law and order situation, and maintaining uh, discipline, uh, rule of law, etc., are under the administration of the union government. So the Delhi government in that sense, unfortunately, does not have a lot of say, one. Number two, there is a, a constant struggle that we as the Aam Aadmi Party and the Delhi government is continuing, which is the fight for full statehood, which every party in Delhi has promised. The BJP promised, the Congress promised, the Aam Aadmi Party promised. The BJP and Congress have backtracked. The Aam Aadmi Party is still staying true to the promises it made. That is a full statehood. Now, what will happen when Delhi gets full statehood? The following things will happen. One, we will get land under our administration. Now, as of now, if the Delhi government wants to build a hospital or build a college, we need to buy land at market prices to make a hospital or a, or a college. We, like unlike other state governments, we don't own land because Delhi is not a full state. Number two, we have no control over the police. The police does not listen to us. In fact, it's the first time that the police is going after the chief minister, the MLAs of that state and arresting them. So the police, we have no say when it comes to police. When we get full statehood, the police will also come under the administration of the Delhi government. And that is when Mr. Kejriwal's government or whoever is in government in Delhi will be accountable to the people when it comes to safety and security of women. One. Number two, apart from this, there are, there are various things which I believe that the government can still do to ensure that there is safety and security of citizens in Delhi, like installing CCTV cameras, deputing volunteers and marshals in buses and in areas where uh, you know reports of of uh, ill treatment uh, of uh, women are uh, you know often of, often received in those areas certain steps can be taken the government is in process of do, uh, doing all those things for example the cctv uh, project has been pending with the lieutenant governor for more than 18 months and now finally, now that we won the battle in the Supreme Court, we have seen some progress on that file. So I, the government is very much cognizant of the fact that there is a pathetic law and order situation in Delhi. And our fight for full statehood, as well as our fight for taking some steps like CCTV, bus marshals, etc. is, is, is on. ये कहना कि हमारी पार्टी के अंदर लोकतंत्र नहीं है, या जिसकी आइडियोलॉजी अरविंद जी की आइडियोलॉजी से मेल खाए, वो ही पार्टी में रहता है। ये विपक्ष का एक प्रोपगेंडा हो सकता है क्योंकि मैं आ, इस पार्टी का हिस्सा हूं मैं इस पार्टी से तब से जुड़ा हूं जब से पार्टी बनी है और एक युवा होने के नाते और पार्टी की पॉलिटिकल अफेयर्स कमेटी का भी मेंबर रहा नेशनल ट्रेजरर भी रहा नेशनल स्पोक्सपर्सन भी हूं ऐसे ऐसे पदों पर पार्टी ने मुझे मौका दिया जो सबसे महत्वपूर्ण पद थे उन पदों पे काम करने के बाद मैं पूरी जिम्मेदारी से आपको कह सकता हूं यदि किसी पार्टी में लोकतंत्र है तो वो आम आदमी पार्टी में ही है आई थिंक देयर इज अ ह्यूज वैक्यूम अ बिग पॉलिटिकल स्पेस फॉर पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज लाइक द आम आदमी पार्टी टू कैप्चर नाउ दिल्ली वाज अ मिरेकल दिल्ली वाज अ मिरेकल बिकॉज़ द पीपल ऑफ दिल्ली ओवरवेलमिंगली वोटेड फॉर अस वी विल नाउ फाइट इलेक्शंस इन वेरियस अदर स्टेट्स वी आर होपिंग टू गेट अ सिमिलर रिस्पांस इफ वी डू वी विल स्लोली एंड ग्रेजुअली uh, increase our footprint but as of now I think various political parties are trying to find that answer trying to come together prepare a sort, sort of a, a, a coalition or a, a gut bandha to challenge Mr. Modi which we as the Aam Aadmi Party are now only sort of we are now a passive bystander and looking at that political formation as a, as a, as a student of politics I am looking at that political formation. Let that political formation fructify and then we'll see whether there is a challenger to Mr. Modi in 2019 or not. Look, I, I think that the real challenge to Mr. Modi may not come from these political formations. I somehow believe that the real challenge to Mr. Modi and the BJP will come from the civil society. We are seeing some 
real significant serious protests uh in in say in the, in the farming community by the farmers we saw that in maharashtra by the dalits in various part uh, parts of india by the youth by students by intellectuals various communities and civil society organizations civil society people are revolting against the modi regime so i think that will give us some answers that is where the real alternative lies at this point in time and those formations combined will pose a threat to mr modi and governor aided and abetted the the strike of the bureaucrats and the entire bureaucracy that time we received a lot of support from all political parties across the board non bjp non congress political parties in fact i was personally there when four chief ministers of four big states of four different parties came to meet the chief minister's family when uh, mr kejriwal was doing his satyagraha at the lg's house and they held a press conference in his support it was mamta banerji from bengal kumara swami from karnataka uh, the chief minister of kerala the chief minister of andhra so four big states people who represent the will of those state the, the will of the people of those states came and supported the cause that aam aadmi party was fighting for unfortunately the congress chose to opt out the congress felt that they don't or they shouldn't support the aam aadmi party and i think this question is best answered by people who uh, represent the congress party but i must say that the congress's chief minister of pondicherry uh, mr narayan swami who is also facing a similar situation over there because of the left hand governor ms bedi who is also trying to paralyze the governance uh, uh, the entire governance setup of pondicherry he came out in our support he said that i support mr kejriwal's demands i support uh their cause i am i am i am against the kind of dictatorship or the interference that the central government has in the affairs of delhi and how they are not letting a democratically elected government function he came uh, came out in our support but unfortunately the congress as a whole as a political party uh, uh chose to accuse us abuse us which is their right in a democracy they can do that uh, uh yeah so i think largely all political parties including the shiv sena even they supported us including many allies including jdu jdu allies of nda supported us so i think political parties did see that there is a serious threat to the federalism the 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 idea of federalism of india and when it when when there is a threat to the the federal aspect of uh, our polity uh, all of them got together and did make some noise which is which is a good thing unfortunately in a situation where the union government particularly the bharatiya janata party has been unable to digest the defeat that they got the electoral drubbing that they got in february 2015 in the delhi legislative assembly elections after that election after bjp being reduced from four short of majority to less than four seats in delhi they have tried every trick in the book to destabilize the government they have tried to buy our mlas indulge in horse trading failed they have tried to paralyze governance in delhi they have arrested our mlas on fake accounts completely fabricated cases almost all of them have been let off by courts and the courts have reprimanded and castigated the delhi police you have seen that for the first time in the history of independent india the central bureau of investigation raids the premises of a democratically elected chief minister for the first time the cbi is raiding the chief minister's office what do they find in that raid nobody knows nobody knows they found nothing but they wanted to raid so they raided income tax cases have been registered against virtually every member of the political party against the political party itself so i'm what i'm trying to say is that every state agency has been unleashed on us and we've been sort of cornered in that sense we have we've been pushed against the wall what is our fault that we voice this pain we say that mr modi has unleashed the cbi we say that police on at the behest of the prime minister's office is filing fabricated cases against the mlas if that is our uh, sort of the accusation against us so be it but i think in a democracy as a political party as a ruling party as a government which is being cornered repeatedly by complete abuse of state instrumentalities the only sort of option that we have apart from legal recourse is to voice our opinion and that is the beauty of democracy and we do that certain people like the fact that we voice our opinion certain people are 
sort of uh, they do not approve of 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 our of our political strategy but that is fine that's democracy so, uh, as i said at the outset that unfortunately the system of administration and governance of delhi is such that it's hugely complex it's it's absolutely complex and for the last 3 3 and a half years we have seen how an appointee from the central government has systematically attempted to stall every project of the elected government and has virtually annulled the will of the political executive of the government now for example the transport sector the government has been trying to purchase dtc buses to increase the number of buses to uh, uh, you know provide more public transport to the people of delhi but that project has not seen the light of the day because of various obstacles created by uh, uh, and i i am given to understand and my my i have reasons to believe by the lieutenant governor and by people on his advice fortunately now that we won the battle in the supreme court uh the mandate the the direction of the supreme court are absolutely unambiguous and clear the powers have now been given to the elected government the government in a sense has been restored now now you will see significant progress on the front of transport purchase of dtc buses buying land getting land for creating bus depots etc etc so i think now uh, uh, now that we actually have some power now the elected government can actually deliver, uh, deliver is is when you'll see uh, the progress on this front as well uh, so uh, <clears throat> you'll have to sort of kind of rewind to january and february to understand how government in delhi was not being allowed to function the entire permanent executive that is the bureaucracy the is officers went on a strike they said we will not listen to the orders of the ministers we will not follow the decisions taken by the delhi cabinet and we will not listen to the political executive we will do whatever we deem fit on the instruction of the lieutenant governor now did the people of delhi vote for mr kejriwal or did the people of delhi vote for the lieutenant governor they voted for mr kejriwal did the people of delhi want aam aadmi party to run the government or did the people of delhi want lieutenant governor to run the uh, delhi government they wanted the party to run government so therefore when the will of the people is not being respected when the strike of the bureaucrats is being aided and abetted by the lieutenant governor and uh, by the uh, union government the only recourse that we had after making repeated requests to the lg and various other senior members uh, of the union cabinet that please let the government of delhi function and when they completely ridiculed our request the only option that we had was to do satyagraha and that satyagraha actually helped in the revocation of the strike and those bureaucrats returned to work so i think in the interest of the people of delhi in the interest of governance in the interest of the democratic rights of the people of delhi the chief minister did do satyagraha a successful satyagraha that really restored governance back in delhi the real problems of this country are not at whether mr kejriwal is attending mr kumara swami swearing in or not the real problems are agrarian distress the communal incitements happening all over in india social harmony internal security external security absence of jobs the you know the crisis in uh, economy there are far more serious issues that uh, aap bhi unhi political parties jaisa ban gaye hain same thing that you are saying you have now become as you know just like the bjp and the congress when i ask them that why do you say so they don't really have exa- examples to substantiate this perception it's a perception issue this perception is largely fueled and i would say and i have reasons to believe by the propaganda of the opposition if you look at the bjp's entire political strategy against the aam aadmi party it is largely to uh, you know make people believe that we are just like them we are just like the congress we are just like the bjp we are not uh, different and therefore snatch this usp away from us unfortunately that is not the case now you raised two issues one is infighting i have already answered that but uh, you know at the same i will i will still sort of try and dilate on it a bit i think in fighting or conflict when it comes to different viewpoints is good for a political party it's good that contrarian viewpoints are heard are understood and dealt with within a political setup 
as i said mr kejriwal's view was that we must not fight the 2014 lok sabha elections at that scale we should limit ourselves to certain pockets in 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 uh, northern part of india they were political uh, colleagues in the decision making body that thought that we know we must fight the uh, entire lok sabha elections on almost all seats and we did fight elections on almost all seats against the wishes of mr kejriwal so there is a different view in the party that view sometimes is the popular view and when it is the popular view it is understood and followed in letter and spirit but when mr kejriwal's view is the popular view that view is followed he is our leader he is the chief minister he is the national convener and he is first among equals he is our leader but there is a vibrant democracy within the aam aadmi party that vibrant democracy that clash of views that conflict that contrarian viewpoint sometimes is 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 sort of shown or painted as in fighting the word that you used in fighting i don't think that's in fighting i think that's only a difference of opinion a contrarian viewpoint which is very healthy for a political setup and i'm happy that in aam aadmi party there is freedom to have a contrarian view there is freedom to express a view which does not coincide with the view of certain political leaders certain political seniors in the party so that i have dealt with your in fighting question as far as your other question regarding what was your other question as making sorry, allegations, allegations now allegations interesting question so unlike a samajwadi party which will con- which, which which does concentrate on a particular uh, segment of voters like a bsp uh, 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 like a congress in certain states like the bharatiya janata party aam aadmi party does not really uh, and you know sort of classify voters as 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 a, a particular uh, you know in in terms of caste in terms of their socio economic background in terms of religion in terms of gender and that is why you you saw in delhi in 2015 where people <coughs> from across the society every walk of life cutting across castes communities uh, did vote for the aam aadmi party more than 54% of delhi heights voted for the aam aadmi party and therefore we got a thumping mandate so we don't really look at politics from the prism of vote bank or voter base etc i think everybody uh, every voter needs to be approached i think every right thinking voter in delhi of course would vote for a political alternative for a new political startup like the aam aadmi party uh, and therefore we don't look at voters uh, in in that lingo